His work is as varied as the locations where he paints, on clothing stores and liquor stores, from alleyways and parking garages, to a mural at the Oakland airport, a decorative wall in San Jose, a community fence in Santa Rosa. Bay Area muralist Jet Martinez has made a name for himself working in very public places. So I try to paint things that I think I would like to see and that I think would uplift uh, the community that I'm painting in. Working out of his Oakland studio, Martinez never strays far from bold designs with clean, crisp, and highly precise elements. Nature and animals, a reoccurring theme. I like people to look at something and be like, geez, you know, that must have taken hours, you know, like, because it did, you know, and um, I, I, I like that. I'm not the kind that, you know, like make it look effortless. I really like it to look like effort, you know, because it helps me like justify it. You know, it helps me justify the fact that I get to do what I love for a living. You know? This time-lapse video shows one company that recognized his talent. In 2011, Facebook invited Martinez to become its first artist in residence. To be totally honest, I didn't even have a Facebook account. I didn't really like get Facebook. I was like, why do people do this? And everybody's acting like it was this big deal. You know, Facebook has got the new offices and you're going to paint in there. And I was, I was excited about having a commission, but I didn't really get the magnitude of it. I didn't really get social media and all that. And it wasn't that long ago. This was only two or three years ago. Though clients now seek him out, early on, working on the streets was all about survival. It's really hard to get your first mural commission. So in order to get anything done, I've always been like, you know, let's do what we can right now, you know. And so the street was a place where it was available. And it was more about taking ownership of, of the art and not waiting around for somebody to give you a chance to do something. Though some urban artists do, Martinez doesn't paint without permission. And though labeled a street artist, like so many labels, this one may not fit. I feel like people just want to go there automatically. They want to assume that um, if you're painting things in the street, that you know you're you're being given a chance to come out of the shadows, kind of thing. You know, and it's like, no, I'm I'm out here actually creating some visual culture for our for our city. You know, I, I feel like that the things that we do are really important for for our communities. And I think other people think that street art has an element of danger has this kind of wild youth, um, yeah, illegal connotation to it that I'm, I don't really appreciate, you know, because I think that a lot of us work really hard and I think that in a way it, it cheapens art, you know. To me it's just, it's just art, you know, it's public art. Born in Mexico, Jet Martinez spent his childhood surrounded by that country's famed muralists. This work by Diego Rivera telling the history of Mexico stays with him today. It was amazing. You don't need to read. You can see it all there, you know. And, and that's what was so great about those, those muralists is they really painted an, an image for you to look at that also informed you. Shying away from being overly political, Martinez says he takes a soft voice when it comes to the themes behind his work, which often highlight his Mexican heritage. An example, a series of silhouettes. The landscapes inside show where the subject is from. Doing those silhouettes was a way for me to say, you live here, but you bring the culture with you. So I paint things that I would want to see, and so I want people to, when they look at my work, to just enjoy it, you know, and not necessarily try to sit there and ponder whether or not they get it. Jet Martinez says he never planned on becoming an artist, but one art class and one art professor changed all that. But not for the reasons you may think. I couldn't even really properly describe his work, but I remember thinking, this is not very good, you know, this is not very good work. Um, and he was teaching the class, and I just had one of those moments, like epiphany moments, like, oh my God, if he can do this, I could do this. And a career was born. He dropped out of college, enrolled in art school, and the streets became his canvas. Married to Kelly Ording, an accomplished artist in her own right, the couple has two children, Laszlo five and Violet three. And with a growing family, there was a time when Martinez thought about putting down his brushes for good. There was definitely a point when our first one was coming where I thought a lot about 
maybe finding a real job, you know? And so I think what I had to do was really start to take it seriously and like really start to take the business side of things seriously. And that really helped me kind of focus a little bit more on what kind of imagery I was gonna work with, um, working on series of work that had a theme and, you know, just kind of helped me kind of crystallize things a little bit more. As he prepares for his next solo gallery show, Jet Martinez continues to marvel how his career path paid off. Never planned on being an artist, yeah. And then once I kind of realized that that was something you could do, it's so strange, right? Because other, there are so many artists and I was obviously inspired by them, but it just never seemed like something that one could do, which is strange, right? <laughs> I don't know why, I just I didn't feel like it was, I didn't feel like I was, I don't know, um, the anointed one or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like you had to be chosen by the ethers or something, but I, I just never thought it was going to be me. Chosen or not, his work has left an impression. Public art at its best.